Let's start by checking the CAN bus brand we received. To ensure the proper functioning of the CAN bus box, the CAN bus box must be connected first. The wiring harness is equipped with an 8-pin CAN bus plug. This must be securely inserted into the head unit for optimal CAN bus functionality. Locate the 8-pin CAN bus port. Carefully insert the 8-pin CAN bus cable and ensure a snug fit. Now, let's proceed to connect the power harness. Once the wiring harness connections are complete, it's crucial to configure the CAN bus options to match your specific vehicle model. Establish a Wi-Fi or mobile hotspot connection before configuring CAN bus options. Before connecting to Wi-Fi, we recommend first plugging in the 10-pin CAM and Wi-Fi cable into the head unit to enhance the Wi-Fi signal's strength. If you've previously connected to a Wi-Fi network, it will automatically reconnect when you enable Wi-Fi. Navigate to factory and enter the password 123456 or 8888 as prompted. Click on select models to choose the CAN bus option according to the specific model of your vehicle. For example, I have a Toyota Highlander 2016, so I select the CAN bus option of all new Highlander. The head unit will automatically update the MCU APK through the network after configuring the CAN bus option. Upon completion of the update, the head unit will reboot to save the new settings. As you can see, the CAN bus option is now correctly configured for my Toyota Highlander 2016. In addition, we can adjust features such as the liftgate and other factory settings through the car settings app. <laughs> 